Barbers and stylists all around Wake County are finding themselves suddenly out of work. The county is mandating that all hair and nail salons close to slow down the spread of the coronavirus. CBS 17's Jamie Rice is live in Raleigh where several salon owners are trying to figure out how to sustain their businesses. It's a tough hit, Jamie. Really hard for them. Felicia, very tough for those stylists here at Von Keckel Salon and Spa. They've been in business now 22 years, and the owner says they've never seen anything like this before. They already have been practicing social distancing, reminding folks to wash their hands, but now on their closed doors. This sign alerting customers that service has temporarily been suspended until April 30th. This basically is our styling floor where all the the magic happens for the ladies. Inside Von Keckel Salon Spa in North Hills, every chair is empty. Just used to having a full staff with lots of guests running through, and, and right now it's dead silence, which is scary. Non-essential businesses in Wake County were forced to close Monday. More will close across the state following Governor Roy Cooper's executive order that mandates professional grooming salons to close on Wednesday. Salon owner Sean Keckel is hoping to start his own curbside service to help business after nearly 40 of his stylists are now out of work. To sustain our business, we're going to hopefully try to come up with something for our guests where they can maybe curbside pick up their color that they can take home just so they have some peace of mind during this time. At this point, anything would help. And also feeling the pain, Kendrick Bowyer. He's a barber. We met him outside the shop where he worked up until Monday. I don't think they thought about the actual, the actual barber or the actual stylist. I don't think they thought about it at all. How much it would affect us, how much it is taken from us, because every day we're losing so much money. Kendrick sent this message out to his guests, and he's now taking a risk by making house calls. We have to be out here, so basically, I mean, getting sick, that's a risk we got to take. We got to do what we got to do. Now, many stylists and barbers are considered independent contractors and self-employed, and according to the Division of Employment Security, they wouldn't qualify for unemployment benefits. Live in Raleigh, Jimmy's Price, CBS 17 News.